you need to to realize that uh, newspapers news on print is just one way to to distribute information to do journalism and i, I cannot uh, i cannot uh, imagine uh, in the future uh, a society a democratic society that uh, it will not be able to have uh, uh, profitable professional quality journalism on print online or whatever is the technology that we use at any time that means that uh, i believe in newspapers uh, my business and our business with Claude and my, my partners uh, is to work for newspapers around the world um, and normally we are working for newspapers that they have problems and we are supposed to be good uh, fixing these problems if not it will be we will be out of business nobody will hire us or will pay us to do something that doesn't fix problems or improve the quality of newspapers uh, as a matter of fact uh, innovation um, as you know is the, na the name of our company we, we started 20 years ago uh, 11 years ago we started this report that is an annual report for the World Association of Newspapers that uh, reports about trends, <coughs> innovations, and we have been during these 20 years just uh, tracking and, and looking and, and, and studying uh, who does better than the others and why. And, and always the, the, the final answer is the same. The most innovative newspapers are the ones that they are really having a great, great success. Uh, we are going to release this, uh, the last report, this one, uh, tomorrow. Uh, I'm sorry I don't have here. It will be released uh, in, in a PDF, in a, in a digital version, and in a few weeks it will be available on, on print. Uh, this year, uh, we asked Rupert Murdoch, that um, understands, uh, knows something about this industry, or at least has been able to, to make a lot of money in this industry and have very prominent newspapers and media. And we were really pleased to, and I'm sure that you have the opportunity to read his words in the preface, preface of, of, the, of this year's report. It's very impressive. Uh, he's, he's an old person. <clears throat> he's a, a person that all his life has been in this industry. And he's very, very optimistic. And he's very realistic. He knows the problems. But he knows the solutions. And we have presented this year, and perhaps uh, Claude Ersen, that is the top editor of this report, he can give you more details about the, the, the topics, the issues that they are right now, uh, the hot topics in this industry. But uh, I thought that perhaps for you, uh, the, the, the best way to, to summarize in three minutes what is the future of newspapers around the world is to watch this video. This is a commercial, it's a TV commercial it was released a few weeks ago in Brazil. Uh, it was produced by a leading advertising company in, in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, for a newspaper that is one of the leading newspapers of Brazil. It's published in Rio de Janeiro. It's called O Globo. O Globo is, as you know, also the company that runs the four largest TV broadcasting uh, operation in the world. Uh, but this is a newspaper, it's a print newspaper, it's, good, it's a good newspaper, it's very profitable, it's very successful. And it, it's one of our first clients. Uh, Innovation started his consulting work in Brazil 20 years ago. And I remember that uh, during these 20 years that we have been uh, working uh, with Olobo, that they saw, not now, but many years ago, that the future of this industry, uh, it depends very much about the concept of multimedia. Not just print, not just online, but everything. News on multimedia platforms. And they have done a lot of things. That it's a very innovative company. But you will agree with me that after watching this uh, TV spot, this is 
that's all. I can finish. I can take questions if, if I can answer anything. But I don't think that there is better, better explanation of the future of this industry, of the newspapers, than this uh, video. Um, the message of our globe in this uh, TV spot is that what is the role of newspapers, um, not just on print, but in the other platforms. Let, let's watch it. I, I have, uh, it's in Portuguese, but uh, you will see the, the subtitles in, in English. Informação. Se existe escrita, nós escrevemos. Se existe online, nós atualizamos. Se existe móvel, nós enviamos. Se existe em vídeo, nós exibimos. Se existe em áudio, nós tocamos. Se existisse no micro-ondas, nós a cozinharíamos. Se existisse no ar, nós a sopraríamos. Antigamente, notícia esperava um jornal sair para ela poder acontecer. Hoje, a notícia anda no tempo do próprio acontecimento. É aprofundada minutos depois, analisada imediatamente. Por nós, pelo seu vizinho, por você, onde quer que você esteja. E de lá você sugere, opina, busca, corrige, edita, atualiza, faz. Você mesmo. Por isso um jornal tem que estar no papel, na tela, na sua mão. Tem que estar onde você quiser estar. E também tem que estar numa atitude, no num envolvimento com a... Online, on time, full time. Uh, th th this is the message. Uh, uh, not just in, on paper, but uh, with any platform. And, and this is a real challenge for traditional new rooms, for traditional journalists, but it's the future. The, there is no other future uh, in order to survive in this industry. Uh, it's very easy to kill a newspaper today, a traditional newspaper. And I'm going to go very quickly to show you a, a very fast way, a very efficient way to kill this industry. Uh, I would say any industry, uh, especially creative industries. Uh, and one of the first ways is, of course, be dull and boring, change very slowly. Uh, look at the newspapers today, here in, in Brussels. 90% of what we have in front of us we knew it before we bought the paper or we got the paper. How we are going to pay for a newspaper that tells us what we know right now? In the past, <laughs> newspapers, they were telling us things that we didn't know. That's the reason that we bought newspapers. <coughs> when we have 90% uh, of the content or more with uh, content that doesn't add anything new, doesn't uh, explain more than uh, what we know, it's very difficult that this is a product that can be sold and bought. Don't take any risk. Uh, this is a very conservative industry, like many other ones, that they have been very successful. And it's crazy, but many people think that, okay, uh, we will, there will be a miracle uh, and something will happen without doing anything. Um, I will say that uh, many readers are very upset reading newspapers uh, when we treat readers like stupid audience uh, in a very arrogant way uh, is, is the fastest way to, to lose the readers. Lie to advertisers, give them figures of circulation that they are not true, uh, don't give them enough information about readership, about the efficiency of your, uh, of your media. Uh, this is also very, very, very efficient uh, way to kill a newspaper is yes, be nice with politicians, with businessmen, with any powerful uh, personality, institution, etc. Cover buildings, uh, that means that, okay, uh, a very mm, 